Sometimes only a beer can truly quench your thirst. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 British beers you need to try. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at a combination of the best and most popular amber nectar produced in Britain. Don't get us wrong, there's a lot of other great brewage out there in the big wide world, but those are for another list at another time. Take car, go to mum's, kill Phil, sorry, grab Liz, go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. Number 10, Sharp's Doom Bar. In the United Kingdom, there's few beers more famed than this smooth brand, currently one of the best-selling cask beers around. A winner of numerous awards, including People's Choice Award for Favourite Cask Ale in 2016, this amber ale is unfiltered, unpasteurised, and is served from the barrel without any additional pressure from nitrogen or carbon dioxide. Established in 1994, this ale has stayed at the top of its game with its multifaceted blend of sweet roasted malt, dried fruit, and just a touch of bitterness, leaving you with a finish that is both dry and invigorating. Number 9, Theakston's Old Peculiar. The recipe for this famous beer, also referred to as Lunatic's Broth, is simple. A brew mainly consisting of roasted barley combined with hops. The full-bodied end result, however, is far from simple, with tones of cherry and fruit dominating the complex, delicious flavour. The most beloved of the ales brewed by T&R Theakston in the region of North Yorkshire, this beer most likely has its origins in the 1800s, with the old English practice of brewing strong dark stock beers in the winter season to add to the beers brewed in the summer. Number 8, Spitfire Premium Kentish Ale. Commonly referred to as the Lager of Britain, this brand of barley soda was invented in tribute of the 50th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. With a blood orange hue and aromatic blend with smacks of marmalade, grapes, raspberry and hints of spice, this ale has enjoyed plenty of prestige in the beer community, especially after its gold medal win at the Brewing Industry International Awards. Coming from the oldest brewery in England, founded in 1698 in the English county of Kent, the beer is even protected by the European Union's initiative in preserving and promoting quality agricultural products and foodstuffs. Number 7, Harvey's Blue Label. It has been called the ultimate session ale by some, and at 3.6% alcohol by volume content, it is definitely one of the lighter beers on our list. Fans of stouts and porters may not be its biggest fans, but for easy drinkers, its sweet malty taste softened by its characteristic hoppiness will have you reaching for another bottle. Made at the oldest independent brewery in the county of Sussex, this brew of liquid bread is derived from the company's Sussex Best Bitter, which won in the Best Bitter category at the Great British Beer Festival two years in a row. Number 6, Newcastle Brown Ale. Also called Brune, Dog and Newkey Brown by its drinkers, this is perhaps one of the most famous British beers in the world and was at one point the most widely dispersed alcoholic beverage in the UK. I used to think Newcastle was bitter. Boy, am I a dumb idiot. Known as the working man's beer and linked with England's heavy industry, this copper-coloured ale refreshes with its hints of fruit and malty flavours and a distinctively bitter, enjoyable finish. Originally produced in the city of Newcastle upon Tyne, it is now brewed by Heineken, who announced in 2015 that they would get rid of the chemical which gives the drink its distinctive brown hue. Controversial, eh? It was for these men that in 1927 we created Newcastle Brown Ale. Which is perfect, because nothing sells beer like old footage of people who had it way worse than you do. Number 5, London Pride. Another of the UK's greatest hits in the cask department, this ale is enjoyed and beloved all around the world, although nowhere quite as passionately as England's capital. The most important product of Fuller's Brewery by the River Thames, this perfect balance of malt and hops has satisfied Brits since the 1950s, twice named the champion beer of Britain since its introduction. The official beer of the London Marathon, it's named after a flower which grew amongst the rubble of the city after it was bombed during World War II. Never had one of those. God. We never had uh, a lager and, and gin and tonic and Bailey's Irish cream chaser. No. You big girl's bras. <laughs> Number four, Barrel and Cellar's Best Bitter. 
The brewery recommends this bitter ale to be served chilled, but not too chilled, and in truly English fashion, with a pickled egg in a bag of crisps. Even without the extras, this beer is marvellous in its simplicity. The beer is made with crystal malt, which is combined with barley and heated water to make a sort of mash, and then boiled with local hops and finished off with a bit of yeast for fermentation. That's basically all the ingredients, but when you have a refreshingly bitter brewski like this one, you don't need much more tinkering around. Number 3 Thornbridge Brewery's Japer IPA Some would say that the key to the deliciousness of this hoppy delight with hints of sweet fruity citrus is the American hops used, but with over 100 awards won around the globe, whatever it is, it sure is working. Golden in colour, and with spicy aromatic tones, this bottle of suds was inspired by American craft brewers. One of the first craft breweries on the scene in Britain, and with only a relatively recent startup in 2005, Thornbridge Breweries has nevertheless made quite a splash in the beer world, winning over 350 awards in just over 10 years, many being for the smooth and refreshing Japer. I'll be right out. <laughs> Number 2 Old Speckled Hen Originally brewed in 1979 in honour of the 50th anniversary of the MG car factory in the city of Abingdon, Oxfordshire, it has never looked back since and is currently exported to some 40 countries worldwide. With traces of coffee, grain and toasty malt in its flavour, this golden amber brew was also showcased as Michael Jackson's Beer of the Month in his reoccurring column for The Independent. The beer's popularity blossomed into other acclaimed products of the Green King Brewery, most notably the Strong Old Crafty Hen, the Pale Old Hobby Hen, and the award-winning Old Golden Hen. Number 1 Hobgoblin Unless you've been hiding under a rock, you've undoubtedly tried, heard of, or at least caught a glimpse of this beloved product of the Winchwood Brewery, currently its most trendy and popular brew. The first beer in the UK produced with an illustrated label, Hobgoblin broke new ground with what they called their ruby style of beer, with a full body and a rich combination of chocolate toffee flavouring, fruity characteristics, and some palpable bitterness. The beer's advertising campaign has single-handedly challenged drinkers of the more widespread pale lager, although it's making waves in its own right, as it was presented by Prime Minister David Cameron to President Barack Obama as a gift during the 2010 G20 Toronto Summit. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.